Oh, he does it again. He does it again. Tom Brady, the GOAT. Oh, my goodness, man. Oh. They won the Super Bowl, man. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, 31-9. Not even one touchdown, man. Not even one. Man, this Buccaneer defense went ham on Patrick Mahomes, man. He was getting knocked, off, knocked out, man. It was, oh, my goodness, man. And the penalties, man. The penalties by the Chief. What was it? Ten or more penalties? Like, oh, man. It was a ton, man. They couldn't stop. They couldn't stop them, man. They did Like, the first quarter, it, lo it looked pretty close. But, man, when you got near the end, the second quarter, it was kind of almost like... Well, in our minds, it's like we thought the Chiefs were going to come back. You know, we thought, okay, you know, Chiefs are going to make that comeback like they did last year, and like they kind of do, you know, in, um, in a lot of their playoff games. But, um, they didn't do it. And Mahomes, you can definitely tell he's not, he's not alright. He's definitely hurt, still hurt, man, and I wish him for a full recovery. Honestly, I think he did, a. Uh, I think he played fine, you know, I... Could he play, but could he play better? Absolutely, but I think he's going through a lot injury-wise, and... You know, when you win a lot, you're, you're going to get those losses. You're going to get those big losses. You're like, ugh. Ugh, man, I can't believe we got, like, we had, we had a great team, man. Like, like that was only, like, their, they said it was 16-3, so, only their third loss. So, it's, that's pretty dang good, man. Like, they had a heck of a season, a heck of the last three seasons, actually. You know, like, three AFC championships, one Super Bowl. Two Super Bowl appearances. Like, you, you can't be mad, man. You can't be mad. And this team is continuing to be one of the top dogs in the league. For the Tampa Bay Buccaneers this year. Or the best team in the league. I picked them to win. In fact, actually, I didn't make a video on this, but... I predicted Tampa Bay to win it all before the season started. I was thinking, of course, Tennessee, which you all know what happened with that. But, um... And, and guys, I also picked them to score 31 points. I picked 31 to 28. 31 points. I can't believe I got that right. <laughs> like, I, thought it was gonna be, I thought it was going to be a bit off. I thought it was going to be a bit off, but... And I was right in the end. And Tom Brady, I also predict he'll get the MVP, which isn't really a surprise. It's not really shocking. His fifth, his fifth MVP! Five out of seven years, and seven out of ten years, dude. It's insane, dude. It's insane. He's been in the Super Bowl for a whole decade, dude. That's insane. Like, not straight, but you know what I mean. Like, it's insane, dude, what this man is doing, man. And that was actually, fun fact, the first, that was the first Super Bowl that Tom Brady ever blew out team. And the last two Super Bowls that Tom Brady has been in, and, and Rob Gowski, got to add him in there. Um, they did not give up one touchdown. They did not get one touchdown. They did not give a touchdown against the Rams. And now against the Chiefs. Which, dude, dude, dude. Like, he beat Breeze. He beat Aaron Rodgers. Now Patrick Mahomes. Like, man, when you're the GOAT. And you're beating other goats, man. You're you're even a higher goat, dude. Like, I feel like when it comes to sports world, there are multiple goats or whatever names you want to put out there. But to me, there are some high goats, man. Just just unbelievable, man. And you know, it's definitely a discussion. You know, him and um My Michael Jordan. Like, yeah, you can't compare. You can't compare two different sports. But I feel like you could compare like. You know, what did Michael Jordan do for basketball? You know, he pretty much made basketball into not what it was, well, not the, how it was this year, because this year's kind of going downhill, but, um, what, you know, it has been, you know, since the 90s, you know. he He's just been that, the number one star, dude, and Tom Brady, he, he's always been like that, too. You know, you have a discussion where, if, you know, how, how much he, you know, how much he's probably helped the NFL, you know. You know, with the ratings and um, the winning and Super Bowls, it's just because how much people don't want Tom Brady to win at the same time. Some people don't want to see 
two teams that they don't really care about. You know, they'd almost rather see somebody else win again. You know, for me, I'm a Tom Brady fan. Been Tom Brady fan since 2011. I'm a New Orleans, New England Patriots fan, Tennessee Titans fan, and Detroit Lions fan. I'm not a Tampa Bay Buccaneers fan. Just good not clear out of the way. I do like Sue. He played for the Lions. I do like Mike Evans, Godwin, really Rob Gronkowski. I like a lot of their team, their um, teammates, a lot of their players. But it doesn't mean I'm a fan though. I do, I kind of do like Tampa Bay, you know. I kind of been interesting, you know, their team. But I'm not a fan. But um, yeah, Tom Brady, man, like seven. Seven, seven rings, man. He's gonna run out, and this next year may not be done for him, man. I've been hearing that he may even play even longer, depending how he plays. It's incredible, man. Like, props to Tom Brady, man. My favorite player, man. Favorite all-time player. It's amazing. He's he is just amazing, and all-around effort, man. Coaching. Bruce Andrews, man, or. Yeah, yeah, is that how you pronounce his name? Yeah, is, he did coaching tremendously. Uh, you know, unbelievable. You know, the, Andy Reid, he just, there's not much he could have done, man. Like, it didn't seem like, you know, against the Buccaneers looked like they were ready. They were ready. And I heard um, that Tom Brady was texting his teammates last night saying, we are going to win. We are going to win. You know what that says? That says, that's GOAT mentality. That's winning mentality. That's me telling you, like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We are going to win this. No matter what. We are going to win this. And they exactly won this game. You know, there wasn't much penalties. They, you know, they didn't, re they didn't, they turned it over, what was it, one time? I believe it was an interception. And that was really pretty much it in the running game, man. The running game was unbelievable. Leonard Fournette. Whew, dude, he was a beast last night. A beast. Ronald Jones, he also had some nice touch as well, man. But... Rob Kamkowski to Tom Brady, bro. The epic duo, man. They passed um, Joe Montana and um, Jerry Rice for more most receptions between two teammates. I, I, I think they're talking about the playoffs. They got like 14. And unbelievable, man. They had two. Two last night, dude. It's like they were playing for this stuff. They were playing for that. They didn't do that really all season long. Not like not like this, man. Brady and Gronk like matching up like this. They have none that a good minute. And and Gronk, he's not going anywhere, man. He's not gonna go anywhere. He's staying. So I don't see him leaving, bro. Or even he came back with a play for Tom Brady. And look what happens when you play with Tom Brady. Oh man, it's, it's unbelievable, man. It's just it's unbelievable what he's able to do year after year after year after year, man. Insane, dude. He's getting better at age. He literally is, dude. If you look at, at what he has accomplished throughout his career, he's done better at at age than he was younger. It's insane, man. It's, it's insane, dude. I mean, this defense, bro, the defense was light. It was beasting and feasting, man. Feasting and feasting. Mahomes, man, he's a run for his life. Dude, this team, dude, the defense, man. I get credit to the defense, bro. I feel like people don't get enough credit to the defense. They say, oh, yeah, it's just Brady, which is true. Brady's the main head. But Brady ain't, but, but I wouldn't say Brady's the body, bro. I would say it's mostly the defense right there, man. The defense is unbelievable. You got the wide receiver, bro, unbelievable. It's just unreal, man. This team, bro, is, like, they, they dominated against the best team in the last three freaking years. Except for that one year with the Patriots. But, um, it's just unbelievable, man. It's on freaking real deal we're able to do, man. And, congrats to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers win, winning. You guys were the first team to win at home in Tampa Bay. Let's go, man. I can't wait for next season. This team's definitely going to be a contender for sure. To me, I'm predicting already going to be in the NFC Championship game or the Super Bowl. I don't see them getting any less than any less than that. Any less than that. Honestly, than a championship game loss. That's it. Cause I could see that happening. But we'll just have to wait and see. And um yeah, um it was first quarter seven three, second quarter fourteen three, third quarter ten three, and nothing in the fourth quarter. Because the Buccaneers were like, Yeah, we're we're gonna pretty much win this game. 
you know, unless Kansas City drops a couple touchdowns, you know, there's no point in really trying. You know, they're really not. You know, you play to win, you don't play to blow a team. They did blow all the team. They did, they did. They won by 22. But, but most of the points were in the first, were in the first half. 21 of them. You know, they scored actually right there. Actually, this was the first time that Tom Brady scored a touchdown in the first quarter of a Super Bowl. I was like, wow, man, he finally gets it. And he finally pulls out a team, too, man. Finally, dude. This was this was the Super Bowl, man. I don't think anybody can talk crap anymore. Yeah, you can see the cheating and everything and all that, man. I get it. But it's like, man, he went to a different team and, and went on the road. Knocked out three goats. Or three future goats. Because I can't see Tarcher Mahomes like a goat yet. But, um... And then wins at, and then beats Kansas City at home. Like, it's unbelievable, man. That's also the first time in Super Bowl history that a team has gone on the road and then gone at home in the Super Bowl and won it. And actually made it, actually. But, um, yeah, let's check out the stats. Alright, so yeah, Patrick Mahomes, 26, 49 completions. Like I said, man, they are beating them up. 270 yards. Zero touchdown, zero touchdowns, and two interceptions. That's incredible. I don't think anybody thought this was gonna happen. I was, I was thinking at least two touchdowns, two or even three, but zero. Man. Um. Clyde, Clyde Edwards. He had nine carries for sixty-four yards, seven point one average. Sorry, I just had to look up his first name. Um, Patrick Mahomes, he had 5 carries for 33 yards, 6.6 .6 average. Um, yeah, Travis Kelsey, 10 receptions for 133 yards. That's a really good game. 13.3 average. Sorry guys, I apologize once again. The reason why these vid on the videos keep like pausing and all that is because my grandma's wanting to talk to me about something. That's really about it. I apologize. Okay, once again. Kelsey, 10 receptions for 133 yards, 13.3 average, no touchdowns. What? Well, that's a great game. That's a great game by Travis Kelsey. Tariq Hill, 7 receptions for 73 yards, 10.4 average. That's pretty good, too. You know, he didn't have that breakout game I thought he was going to be, but he still had a good game. I mean, Watkins, I mean, only one reception for 13 yards. Wow, dude. Wow. Dang, dude, that surprised me. I thought Watkins would have a good game. Or a decent game. Um, Tom Brady, 21 for 29. That's pretty good, only 8. Only 8 miss, misses. 201 yards. 3 touchdowns, no interceptions. Think about this. Patrick Mahomes has 70 more yards than Tom Brady did. That shows you Patrick Mahomes really didn't have that bad of a game. Tom Brady really didn't have to do too much. Like, Tom Brady was being Tom Brady, bro. He's being Super Bowl Tom Brady, unbelievable Tom Brady. And think about this too, he threw 500 yards against the Eagles and lost. No one talks about that. 500 yards in the Super Bowl. And he only had 200 here. And won, and, and blew out the Chiefs. So it tells you it's a team effort, not just Brady. It's a team effort. The running game, here we go. Leonard Fournette, 16 carries for 89 yards, 5.6 average, 1 touchdown. That touchdown was amazing, I love that, I love that drive. Ronald Jones. 12 carries for 61 yards, 5.1 average. Ralph Kongowski, 6 receptions, 6 receptions for 67 yards, 11.2 average, and 2 touchdowns. Oh yeah, Antonio Brown, dude. He he got a touchdown. I, mean, I, was, waiting for, I was waiting for them to use him. Antonio Brown, 5 receptions for 22 yards. 4.4 average of one touchdown, and he gets a touch, and he gets a Super Bowl ring. So after everything that's happened with him, man, you know, good for him. You know, he got that ring. Good for him. Leonard Fournette, four four receptions for 46 yards, 11.5 average. So he was also catching balls too. Then you got Mike Evans for one reception for 31 yards. Um, yeah, Mike Evans didn't do much too much. He was quiet, but I think he did a lot in the playoffs, so it doesn't really matter. Sorry guys, my arm got a little tired there. I mean, um, not not tired, but it was hurting, so it kind of took a minute. But um, yeah, guys, 
Tammy Buccaneers, the Super Bowl champions, Tom Brady, number seven. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Let's go, Bam. The Michigan legend, Patriots legend, and me and Buccaneers legend. Let's go, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, um, thank you guys for all the um, love and support, um, liking the video, subscribing, watching the videos. So thank you guys. The Super Bowl overall, it, it was okay, you know, it, it, it could have been better, you know, but I'm happy the Buccaneers, you know, dominated. But the weekend, what do I say about the weekend? I used to listen to him, but really I don't care about his lyrics anymore, but he has a great voice. It was okay, you know, it was fine, it was... It was nothing special, you know. It wasn't bad. It was nice to hear some of his old songs again. But um, yeah. Um, peace and love, guys. Um, and see you guys next time. Peace.